<laughs> much better, much better. What's going on? Uh, happy Friday, everybody, man. Get your sunglasses out. Today is like a little preview of spring. Feels like we're touching 50, but we're really probably touching like 20 outside. But the sun is out. Snow is melting. Feels good. Just wanted to say what's up. Uh, check in with you guys, man, on the pizza tip. Yesterday we had Michigan in Trumbull. It was delicious as usual. I just was looking on Facebook today, and I'm just going to go ahead and plug it. I see that Pie Sai is uh, their special is the cheese pizza. So all week I've been saying how, uh, you know, they are not known for their cheese pizzas. So I'm kind of excited to see what this cheese pizza might look like. So today we're probably might, you know, probably going to go ahead and get Pie Sai. Give it a try. Maybe we can move them up. You know, everybody's saying pie side, pie side. They made my honorable mention, but only because their pizzas are a little too creative for me. But we're going to go ahead and see what's up with this cheese today. Today, I wanted to talk about how I started my journey with pizza. Um, in 2017, for those that don't know, uh, I did eat pizza every single day of the year, 365 days. And one of the major questions that I usually get asked is that I eat the same pizza every day. Hell no, I didn't eat the same pizza every day. I will tell you, if you ask Ali at Sicily's how many times I ordered pizza, I think at one time it was near 80. And the reason for that is Sicily's was right around the corner from my house. Um, Their pizza's dope, and it was always like my go-to. So whenever I needed some pizza, I ordered from Sicily's. So in 2017, I probably ate, believe it or not, the majority of the year, I ate a lot of Sicily's pizza over in Southwest. Shout out to Ali over there. We just added an addition onto the restaurant, started working on that prior to the pandemic. Uh, It's still working on that right now. Hopefully, when we come out of this, it'll be a nice, beautiful sit-down restaurant, and we'll be able to go over to hang out at Sicily's. Um, Another thing I wanted to talk about is people ask me, you know, what pizza did I have? So I'll tell you how I got started. I got started in Detroit locally, obviously, just eating pretty much every pizza that I could find that I grew up with. I grew up in Detroit and I've loved pizza. It didn't just start in 2017. So by the time I started in 2017, I had already had pretty much the majority of pizzas. I don't want to say the majority of pizza places, but known pizza places because the crazy thing about the pizza world is it's always evolving. It's one of those restaurants. You're always going to get one that's opening and one that's unfortunately closing. So which brings me to kind of the next topic. Um, I ate a lot of local pizza because I knew where that was, but then I also found this amazing book uh, called Where to Eat Pizza. Um, This book actually breaks down pretty much at the time when it came out all the pizza places that existed in the United States and uh, uh, globally, actually, now let me correct myself, globally. Um, And what it is is a bunch of uh, reporters and food critics from all over the United States gave their input on what they thought um, the best pizza was, and then they did that same thing globally. So if you open the book right now, it was cool because when I started with this book, I was actually traveling a lot. So if you open it up right now to where it was, you can actually see where I was. And so um, let's see, that looks like I was in Minneapolis. And so when I took the book out, wherever I went and ate, if you can see, I actually highlighted you know, um, where I ate And a lot of the times I would either rate it or put something down or a note. So if you go into Michigan, obviously I ate a lot more in Michigan, a lot more in Chicago. But this book even does pizza in uh, Italy. So if you're going on a trip, just grab yourself a really cool guide, Austria, uh, the Czech Republic. So you can grab this book. It's a really good guide. I'm sure they probably revised it. Because a lot of the stuff, uh, not a lot, but uh, some of the restaurants, once again, have gone and we've added some new ones. Uh, Sapinos is in here. Buddies is in here. Um, a lot of the staples, but a lot of the new stuff isn't in here because it opened after they wrote this book. Um, another good book that I used, and this is where I really started to go on my journey on uh, making pizza and really uh, looking at the ingredients and stuff. So I went ahead and got the Pizza Bible. Um, And that was where I started really learning about dough, um, percentages of of dough and things of that nature. And then it's got a lot of really good recipes uh, and on different styles of pizza. So that was these are the two that I really went off of main. Mainly I have more at home, obviously, but this uh, the where to eat pizza. This this book, I honestly didn't leave my bag for a year. 
So everywhere I went, every plane ride, every time I booked a flight, I would look in there and I'd say, okay, where do I need to eat pizza? And then that was my main MO when I got to town prior to doing a talk or anything that I would do is I would eat as much pizza as I could. The other question is, how did I stay healthy? A lot of people are like, you ate pizza every single day. How did you stay healthy? Well, I didn't eat a whole pizza every day. And part of doing this was the evolution of learning about pizza and how it affects the body. And so I consulted with some doctors. And really, at the time, I was already riding my bike close to 40 miles a day. Um, So I just added some extra regimen, added some extra workout, added some extra yoga and stuff like that. And believe it or not, I actually got in better shape. Because once I started to understand that I needed to eat pizza earlier in the day so my body could process it so it wouldn't feel crappy at the end of the day from having all that dough and all that sauce. And sometimes sauces are spicy and get heartburn and all that stuff. So I really learned to get it out of the way as early as possible. And then the truth of the story is you could tell who had good pizza because a lot of times if you looked at my photos, I would have eaten a whole pizza. Or if you looked at the photo, I would have eaten a slice. So if I ate a slice... It probably wasn't that good. Um, my next video I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about is leftovers. Um, people always ask me about leftovers. I personally don't eat leftovers uh, as far as pizza. Um, I feel like once you make pizza in its original state, um, you can't recreate that. But we'll talk more about that at my next talk. We will talk about there are a couple pizzas that I've experienced around town that do hold up. Um, and there is a couple of methods um, that I've come across that are tried and true that kind of get pizza back to where it is. So if you're in a pinch and you just got to eat some pizza that day and you've got it laying around, you can definitely warm it up that way. So that'll be the stuff for my next video. All right. Uh, Once again, check out uh, where to eat pizza. I think I paid like 30 bucks for this awesome book right here. And then uh, check out the pizza Bible, Uh, both amazing resources on how to start your journey on pizza. Other than that, grab a slice and uh, I'll see you later.